So this is a multi-purpose, multi-functional structure. We can use it to raise our piglets up in, grow up, put our chickens in the winter time, and use it for a greenhouse and grow tomatoes. This structure right here is gonna be our winter chicken coop. I bought a shelter logic tent. I went ahead and assembled the frame. You can find just the frame, that's all you really need. This is what, 15 feet long, 10 feet wide. So I bought a two by four by 12 feet long for the bottom. That's an eight foot two by four. And then those are eight foot two by fours cut down. Right here, I went ahead and I framed up 36 inch, 36 inch wide opening for a doorway I'm gonna make. On the back side, just for extra support, I ran a two by four by eight foot along the top. You gotta kinda take your jigsaw around the edges over so it fits in there nicely. And I just screwed it from the bottom here, drilled right to the tube and screwed it there. On this bottom support, I just got this plastic strap in for extra security, you really don't need it. Drilled a hole here and one on the bottom, screwed right through the tube in into the two by fours. And then I wanted my two by fours up off the ground so they won't rot out as easy. And I just got these other two scrap pieces sistering it up. For the back, I took the piece for the doorway of the shelter logic. So you can zipper it up, get my, I can get a tractor in there, you can get a wheelbarrow, anything. On the back wall here, it's gonna be the nest boxes, but I'll take those off. I can get in there and empty it out. Big thing is it'll be a chicken coop this winter. We'll be doing the deep bedding concept. So we're just gonna keep adding layers of like say hay, wood chips, and putting the food in there and letting it get stuck in the ground. So we'll be building compost throughout the winter. So then at the end of the winter, come springtime when I'm ready, zip the door up, got my wheelbarrow in there, or my tractor, and I can take out all the compost right for the garden beds. But the other thing I'm gonna use it for, come springtime, the piglets are gonna go in there. And I'm going to have the piglets rooting it all up, digging it up, and turning the compost for us. And then after that, we can use it for a greenhouse. We can grow our tomatoes in there. So it's multi-purpose, multi-functional. You can use it to start your plants earlier in the, in the springtime. But for us, it's going to be the chickens in the wintertime. The cool thing about being in a greenhouse is it's going to heat up during the day, and it'll help, help melt the water for them, and we don't got to heat it. Yeah, they'll be colder at night, but chickens don't mind being cold. They'll huddle together, and we'll, we'll be doing some other little... Um, vamps to it to keep it warmer for them so you have to stay tuned for to see what we do later on in the winter to help the heat issue for them so now I'm just taking chicken wire it's a four foot chicken wire I put a piece of strap in 16 foot strap in right here going across I put that at three and a half feet up so I'm gonna have six inches coming down you can see it here so things can't get in it and then I got this bigger heavy duty or wire I'm gonna do the same thing with over the chicken wire so it's kind of a process this is the this is to keep out rodents you know we want one inch squares are smaller for rodents and stuff the bigger stuff say a bear comes wants to try to come along and get in here the bear can't get through the big wire but they can get through the chicken wire so we're gonna have a couple of layers there and I'm gonna have the bigger wire out about a foot foot and a half on the ground so nothing can dig under and get to it so now that we have the chicken wire up, this is what it's gonna look like. Let's go ahead and I kinda just put a few staples in, one, two, three. When you're going around the corner where it overlays in the ground, you kinda just gotta cut cut it, or it lays flat, I should say. Go all the way around, just zip tying it in a few spots to keep it up on that piece of strapping. On the back, I stopped here on the corner. This piece, I'm gonna come across the back and I wanna have that removable so when I need to get in this back door, I can just undo the wire, open it like a gate, open the gate and get in and get out. So a few things to remember when you're picking out a location for your winter chicken coop, these are the few things I kept in mind, is the location of it. Ours is not very far from the house. Let me back up and show you. You have the house, front door, chicken coop. 
So we can just walk out the front door, feed the chickens, give them our chicken, our dinner scraps, food scraps. Nothing goes to waste here. The other thing I kept in mind is we can have some pretty snowy winters here. I don't want to have to be shoveling a path to get to the coop all the time. So it's right beside my driveway. I can just plow right up here, right up beside it. Right, so now I went along with the two by three inch fence, but it's about 42 inches high. This fence was five feet long. So I put it about 42 inches high, went down, bent it. So it's sticking out about a foot and a half down here. So if any animal tries to dig, they're gonna hit that and they can't dig under. And I went ahead and on the sides of the doors, I just put chicken wire. So that way in the summertime, if this is open, you can have the greenhouse plastic off of it and the air can get through and you don't gotta worry about a bird or anything flying in there and getting your chickens. And I went ahead and I zip tied all the fence, both layers, right to the posts. And then again, with smaller zip ties, the chicken wire to the bigger rectangle squared fence. And then on the back, left it one solid piece, came over here, have it folded, draped on the bottom, left it long, and then I can just do on this, undo this side, pull this hope, pull the whole piece of fence off together, then I can roll up the door, get in and out with a wheelbarrow or tractor, whatever you have. Thanks for watching. That's part one of the winter chicken coop we're building here. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. And we'll be coming back to you with a part two in probably about a week or so. So if you're watching the video after it's been up for a while, just search for part two winter chicken coop. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.